Um, so basically, guys, if you get stuck with this, what I would recommend doing is just write this without the cosines. Okay, And if you look at that, what, uh, one thing I notice here is that when you're doing it this way, I notice, well, the first two term is squared, and the second two term is squared. So therefore, I possibly could have 2x, um, let's see, and they get to 1, so that would be minus 1 times 2x minus 1, which is what we call a perfect square trinomial. And let's make sure, does that work? 2x times 2x is 4x squared. Negative 2x, negative 2x, that's negative 4x. Negative times negative. Negative is a positive. 2x minus 1 squared equals 0. So that is my factored form. But we're obviously not factoring with x's. We're factoring with cosines. So therefore, I will write this as 2 cosine of x minus 1 squared equals 0. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I need to solve. So I root both sides. Yes, you can introduce the plus or minus, but 0 is not positive or negative, so it doesn't really matter. So you have 2 cosine of x minus 1 equals 0. Cosine of x equals positive 1 half. So now we need to figure out, well, what are the values then when cosine of x is equal to 1 half? So we go to our lovely unit circle, and we say, all right, well, in the first quadrant, cosine is equal to 1 half at the angle pi over, anybody? 3. OK, so when else is cosine positive? Well, we know that cosine has to be positive in the first or the fourth quadrant. Now, again, I keep on forgetting to write my constraints here. But it has to be between 0 and 2 pi. So we can't go negative. Like, remember when we did inverses, we had to go like negative, right? Or like both sines and tangents. Um, in this case, we can't go negative. We're, we want to find all the solutions that are positive. So it's only positive then also in the fourth quadrant, where the reference angle is pi thirds. So what is this angle then? It's pi thirds short of 2 pi over 3, or 12 pi over 3. Starts with a e, rhymes with 11. 11, right? Yes, you got that. Here we go. So our answer is x equals pi over 3, and x equals 11 pi over 3. Huh? No. Oh, wait. Not 11 pi over 3. Well, I was thinking 11 pi over 6. Why don't you guys say anything? It's 5 pi over 3, right? 6 pi over 3. Why was I saying 12? I don't know. You guys messed me up. Blame it on you guys. Yes, it is 5 pi over 3, not 12 or 11. It would be, no, it wouldn't be either one of those. So that would be 6. 